Yeah, y'all don't, y'all don't, don't get too technical on me, okay? It, it's a body. But you take one off and it's not, it's really not what the body ought to be, right? You take one apart and it's not what God wants it to be. Now watch this. When you think a different part, y'all just hang on. Y'all stay right there. We're, we're going to let you sit down in about 30 minutes. All right. Okay. <laughs> now when you think about all these parts, it's different that... You know, it, you know, it really don't make any sense. But when you think about all of these as a, as part of one or as a body, then you begin to visualize what God intends the church to be. Amen. We are not all just a, a different part. We're all part of a body. body. Separate, do we function properly? No. No, absolutely not. Do we function as God intends for us to function? No. No. Why? Because we're, God put us together. The Bible says he fitly joined us together for a purpose. And that purpose is to function as a body. You know, Art here, what if he decides that he's just going to go off on his own, you know? I mean, after all, he's a right arm, you know? And if he's right-handed, brother, he is going to do his own thing. You know, he just takes off out here. What's he doing? He's hurting the rest of the body for certain, amen. God didn't, God didn't make him and put him right here, you know. I mean, I mean, look, it's, you know, muscle and all this kind of stuff to operate on its own. He put him here, not to not just to help this part, but he put him here to help the blood cells, amen. And, and the blood cells are put here to help his arm. arm. And the arm is here to help the hand because if the arm doesn't work right then the hand doesn't work right if the hand doesn't work right then the arm doesn't work right if the blood cells aren't there then guess what none of this None stuff works work. right in fact if you if you take the heart out and you know that's kind of funny i think you got that i thought that's kind of not about thinking about it uh, but without the heart pumping guess what nothing no, works right. Amen. Right. the heart of the church is guess what our lord and savior jesus christ <laughs> he's the heart of the church he keeps us pumping and if he's not the center of everything that we do nothing works right mm -hmm. listen but what if the foot got do you ever and i know i've used this before but have you ever got a uh where your big toe kind of get you get a cramp in your foot and your toe just kind of you know, just start separating from the rest of them. Y'all ever do that? No. Oh, yeah. I was sitting on the couch, and I got a cramp in my foot the other day. And, and you know, and I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, oh, it'll go away. It'll go away. You know, and I'm, and, and I'm trying to move my toes. And finally, after I just can't take it anymore, I get up, and I'm walking around going, oh, man. And Sherry says, what's the matter? And I got, I got a cramp. My big toe is hurting. You know what happened? My big toe decided it wanted to do something else it didn't want to do. And it, kind of not, it made my whole body react to it. Mm -hmm. And listen, it's the same way with you and me as a church. We are not, listen, we are not individual parts. We are, we are to make up one thing, and that is what? Body. A body. That's the way God intended for us to be. Look in Romans. Y'all hang on. Y'all almost done. Look in Romans chapter 12 and verse 5. And I want you to get this. When you ask yourself the question, what does it mean to be a member of a church? When you ask the question, why is being a member of a church different from being a member of any other institution or any other organization in the world? Listen, when you begin to visualize the church as a body, you can kind of understand why it's important to be a part of the church, listen, or the body of Christ. Romans chapter five, 12 and verse 5 it says, So we, being many, that being many, are what? One body, one body in one Christ, and every one members one. of one another. So now, let me follow you. Let me make a picture. Now, you, you're taking all these parts, okay, now, you, you got to just kind of grab your arm, now you're coming in this can, just kind of grab, listen, you see what I'm saying, you're linking up, go ahead, link up with him, or right, don't just stand there and leave me out, okay, <laughs> all right, I'll take the line up, now, now, you see what they've done, they have joined up, linked up, and what have they made, they have made a body, body. Listen, that's what God wants us to be as a church. We can't, listen, we cannot function separately and function the way God wants us to be. Amen. Why? Because we are a, God. we are not, and listen, is this an organization? No. No, no. Yeah. no it's not. It's a body. Right. It is an organism. Amen. We are organisms. We're, are y'all alive? 
Yeah. I was like, thank you, Lord. I mean, I'm glad you're here today because everybody else is sick. They called in sick today. Amen? But we are a body. We are to function together as a body. And we cannot function properly in, unless we are linked together in a body. 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 Thank you, Miss Eve. Now, 